Hey everybody, Drew here. Have you ever wondered what the point is of these really ridiculously thick guitar picks? Like, who actually buys these and uses these? Well, you're actually looking at a guy that really likes these and uses these type of guitar picks on a regular basis. So, in this video, what I'm gonna do is talk about some of the different tones and demonstrate some of the different tones that you can get from different guitar picks that are made out of different materials with different thicknesses and we'll just kind of geek out and have a good old guitar player pick in time talking about these guitar picks. So let's get right into this. If you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know that I am a huge fan of the Dava pick. And this particular pick, it's like a full size guitar pick. It's made out of Delrin and it has this rubber grip on it. It's really great to play guitar with. And I consider this pick to be like my daily driver. But a few years ago, I found out about this company called VPix, and uh, I think the first person that showed these to me is a guy named Senum Palmer. He's another guitar player based out of Atlanta. Amazing shred guitar player. Go check his stuff out. I got into these VPix from him, and then also a guitar teacher that I was studying with at the time, Shane Roberts, he really loves the VPix as well. So we started to just really nerd out and shred a lot with these crazy thick guitar picks. At the time, I was really getting into sweep picking and trying to get my sweep picking game like through the roof. And I found that having a guitar pick that's really thick, that has like a really huge bevel on it, like a smooth kind of edge to it, made sweep picking a lot easier for me to kind of get into. Recently, however, I discovered this new company actually on Instagram called Requiem Workshop, and they make these really cool looking guitar picks out of different type of woods and epoxies. And the epoxy almost, it's almost as hard as stone is what it feels like. So it kind of has like a stone-like feel to it. But they make these guitar picks in all these different beautiful colors. And I find them to be incredibly durable and really fun to play guitar with. So I ordered a few of these. You know, they're not the cheapest guitar picks on the market. They're about 10 to $20 each. What I find is that they last a really long time and they don't leave all that pick dust underneath your uh, humbuckers and your, uh, your guitar. Another thing that I got from Requiem Workshop is this really sick uh, hat that is completely illegible, which I love because it makes people squint at me when they're trying to figure out what it says. But this hat just says Requiem Workshop. And because this hat is so sick, I'm gonna put it on right now and it's gonna help me shred throughout the rest of this video. I'm actually using my Kiesel Carvin guitar from 2013 before they switched over to Kiesel. This is a Holdsworth model, HH2, it's a headless guitar. I actually just got this guitar recently and not only can you shred on this guitar, but it does the jazz thing quite well also. So I'm actually plugging into my giant pedal board that I've featured on this channel recently. Tons of different uh, dirt boxes and effects. That's going all through my Mesa Boogie JP2C. I'm gonna be doing some clean guitar playing as well as some balls to the walls shredding and sweeping to show you these picks in action. So let's talk about some pros and cons of these different guitar picks. So with the Dava Control Delrin. This is a pick that's made out of this material. It's very similar to nylon, but it's pretty soft. It's like a plastic-like soft material. And then on these Dava picks, uh, you have a little bit of rubber on there, which helps you grip when you're on stage. You get a little sweaty. The pick doesn't fall out of your hand. It's super nice. And what I love about these picks is they're pretty big. They're like easy to hang on to. What I love about these picks is they flex a little bit and they're a little bit easier on your fingers and on your hands, on your right hand in particular. So they're great for chugging and really just for any style of guitar playing. And I consider this pick to be my daily driver. So, so let me play for you guys a little bit with this guitar pick.
love these picks. I use them all the time. They're great. I record music with these on a regular basis. They're killer. Um, one thing I don't like is they wear down really fast. Like you might be able to make it through one concert with a pick like this. And I find that it leaves a lot of dust and residue on my instrument. If I'm doing a lot of tremolo picking, a lot of extreme metal kind of playing. So that's kind of the only downside to this pick is you kind of go through a lot of them. And usually I just jump on Amazon and I order a 30 pack of these bad boys and it'll last me, you know, half, a, maybe half a year, maybe four months or so. And then I'll have to order another pack. So you do have to kind of reload on these guys a lot. So that's the Dava pick. It's also available in a jazz size. If you want to get the smaller size, I find the smaller size to be a lot more articulate. Uh, with with your picking and shredding and stuff like that. All right, the next guitar pick company that I want to talk about is this cool little company called V Picks. Right down the road in Nashville, Tennessee, they make uh, a lot of different shapes and size picks. You can get a normal size pick from them. You can even get the Psycho pick, which was my favorite pick for a while. You can also get the Chubby Mummy, which is a instant favorite of mine. It has these little notches in there that make the pick really easy to hang on to. If you're feeling frisky, if you're feeling like you're already a psycho and you want to take things to the next level, I would recommend getting the Insanity pick, which is only for the sickest shredders on the planet. This is a $40 pick that's like 20 millimeters thick. It is out of control. It's a really amazing pick. I actually used to own an Insanity pick and I wanted to include that in this video. But unfortunately, I think I lost it when I was moving and I haven't had a chance to reorder it. I mean, it is a $40 guitar pick, so I haven't really justified that expense yet, but maybe I should get one soon. An all-time favorite of mine is the Psycho. Unfortunately, I've lost both of my Psycho picks, so I'm stuck with the Snake pick, which is a great choice as well. It's very similar to the Psycho pick. And another favorite of mine is one that they make called the Dimension and the Dimension Junior. Those are a little bit smaller than than the snake pick. As you can see uh, on this guitar pick, there this one's probably between four and six millimeters thick. But there's like this bevel on on the edge of the pick, and this particular snake pick has this kind of rough, kind of coarse uh, sanding going around there, which I like because it takes away that chirping sound that sometimes occurs when you're using a guitar pick like this. I also have a snake pick that doesn't have that, which looks like this. You can kind of see the difference between the two of these. You know, the Chubby Mummy is a great option as well, but I actually love these guitar picks for, you know, thicker kind of jazz guitar tones, even clean guitar. Um, if I have to play a lot of clean guitar, I will use one of these picks because of how fat and awesome they sound. <laughs> One of the reasons why I really love these thick guitar picks that have beveled edges is they can be a huge help if you're trying to learn how to sweep pick on the guitar. So for those of you that don't know, when you're sweep picking, you're actually slicing through multiple strings at a time like this. Okay, and you want to have your pick at some type of angle when you're doing that so that your pick can effortlessly slide into the next string and you're kind of doing this repeating motion this perpetual motion if you will when you're sweet picking and i find that having a pick like you know the snake for example can really help with that <laughs> Because these picks have a rounded edge to them, they don't get caught in between the strings, and it just makes learning how to sweep pick on a guitar just that much easier. So what I'm going to do is use this really cool 3 millimeter 
Requiem Workshop pick. This particular pick is actually made out of half wood and half of this colorful epoxy material, and it's three millimeters thick. And another thing that I love about these picks is they stay in between your fingers a lot more easily, and I feel like you don't have to pinch as hard when you're using a pick like this. Requiem Workshop also makes picks that are made purely out of wood, which are great for acoustic guitar playing, you know, gypsy jazz type guitar playing, and really any kind of guitar playing, if I'm being honest. But these are cool because they're really lightweight. They almost feel completely weightless in your fingers. And uh, let's check out what this one sounds like. Another pick that I ordered from Requiem Workshop is this two millimeter matte finish pick. Uh, this is probably the most normal pick that I got from them. They also have this one called the Jester, which is made out of a different material that I think is like available in a six pack. So if you need a lot of picks and you don't want these specialty picks, I would recommend getting those. But this pick is really cool and uh, let's check out what this one sounds like. <laughs> So I love the way that that pick sounds. It glides effortlessly over the strings and it's just awesome for shredding. Along with my order from Requiem Workshop, they also sent me a free guitar pick, which I was very stoked and surprised to receive. And this particular pick is made out of a, a new epoxy material that I think they're working with. And it's just this beautiful green and purple color. And I actually have been enjoying playing with this pick the most because it has this really sharp edge to it and it's very articulate. The epoxy material that this is made of, it kind of sticks to your fingers really easily and it's super easy to grip a guitar pick like this. So let's check this one out. Thank you. 
What I wanted to do now is talk a little bit about the pros and cons of using these different type of guitar picks. The, the first and most obvious one is a lot of these picks are made with really hard materials that do not flex at all. So they can be a little rougher on your fingers if you're doing a lot of extreme metal stuff, tight chugging. Um, but you do have to just adjust your technique when you're playing with these. And I find myself actually playing a lot lighter when I use a thick guitar pick like this. And if I could, if I could use a guitar pick like this all the time, I feel like I would because I think it's potentially easier on my hands and um, it's going to make me play my strings a little bit lighter and I still get that really heavy pick attack. With a pick like this, you have to squeeze it a little bit harder because of how thin it is, but it does flex a little bit over the strings, so it kind of feels like you're playing a lot heavier. And what I find myself doing when I play with the Dava picks is I'm chugging way too hard on the, the strings, especially the 8 string with the really thick 80 gauge string on the bottom. I'm always adjusting my technique to compensate for using these these different picks. So you do have to play a lot of guitar to get used to using and switching back and forth between these picks. Again, like these picks will leave a residue on your guitar, whereas the picks made with wood and epoxy and some of these harder acrylic materials, these aren't gonna leave any residue on your your guitar, which I think is is really great. It's not a major issue at all, but it's just one of those things that's kind of nice when it doesn't do that. The thicker guitar picks tend to sound a lot fatter and warmer, but when you're using high gain, there will be this sort of artifacting chirp sound that can occur. What V-Picks has done is kind of sand the edges of these picks will actually take that chirping sound away. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you learned something new about guitar picks, and hopefully I turned you on to a new guitar pick brand that you maybe didn't know about before. There's a lot of different options out there. A few that I'll rattle off are Gravity Picks, Gunas Picks, uh, Purple Plectrums, Swiss Picks, uh, Requiem Workshop, V Picks, Dava Control Picks. I think it's great to have different guitar picks around the studio. It's good to have a nice collection of picks because it's amazing how they can impact your technique and how you actually interact with the strings and with the instrument itself. And it could help you get over that hump of learning how to sweep pick or use economy picking and stuff like that. If you guys are interested in some specific lessons on sweep picking and economy picking, I do have several videos on this channel that can help you with that. But if you want to go even deeper and you want some immediate feedback on your own guitar playing, I do offer guitar lessons. If you look in the channel description on my channel, my email is there. So shoot me an email if you're interested in a guitar lesson. Well, guys, there you go. That about wraps it up on this video. I hope you had fun checking out these different guitar picks. Wherever you're at in the world, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.